Hey Soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot. And in today's reading, we're taking a look at the universe's plan for you next. We're going to specifically take a look at your path ahead, your finances, and also the improvements happening in your life. Can't wait to get into this reading for you guys. There are two ways in which you can pick your pals either through your zodiac signs, if this is your preferred method, you will find a timestamp to that down in the description box, which will take you straight to the part of the reading where we shuffle your zodiac signs and find out in which of the piles they're going to fall under in today's reading. But of course, if you prefer to pick your piles using your intuition, there are two ways in which you can do that uh, in today's reading, as per usual, either through your cards or the crystals up top of the cards. Okay, so let's get into it. What's the universe's plan for you next? The brain. <laughs> Very interesting card. Pile number two, the scarecrow. And pile number three, the fan. As mentioned, if you prefer to pick your piles using crystals, then let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, you have the tiger's eye. For pile number two, you have the green jasper. And for pile number three, you have the green grass jasper. So take a look at which one of these three piles you're the most drawn to. And this or these will be the piles for you here today. Once you're ready, you will find the timestamps down in the description box. Also do note that in a moment, I will be adding zodiac signs to each pile. And so if this is something that you do not prefer, then please pause the video, take as much time as you need, and I will see you in your reading. But if you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, then, my dear soul family, this part of the introduction was created specifically for you. And what I like to do is shuffle your zodiac signs really well. And then I'll be drawing out four zodiac signs for each pile. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's draw out the first Oh, sorry. Zodiac signs. I just want to create space so we have enough space for each of the four uh, signs for each pile. So the first four Zodiac signs for pile number one are Scorpio, Virgo, Pisces, and Libra. For pile number two, the signs are Cancer, Taurus, Gemini, and Leo. As for pile number three, the signs are, of course, Capricorn, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Aries. So, my dear soul family, these are the zodiac signs for today's reading and their association with, with each of the three piles. 
please feel free to pick your piles using your sun, moon, or rising. I highly recommend you check out the three. Alternatively, if you would prefer to pick your pile or piles using another placement or placements in your chart, please, of course, feel free to do that as well. And once you're ready, you will find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful tiger's eye. Your card is the brain. And if you picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Scorpio, Virgo, Pisces, and Libra. Welcome to your reading, guys. If these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it. It's just another way for others to pick their piles as well. They are not, uh, however the official signs of the pile. Okay, so today we're taking a look at what is the universe's plan for you next. We'll be laying out three rows. One row will be all about your path ahead. The next row will be all about your finances and what to expect with regards to that. And the third row will be all about the improvements in your life that you can expect. Can't wait to get into it. These are, of course, the oracle cards that we will be using for the reading. And this tiny, cute little deck <laughs> will be the tarot deck that we will be using for the reading itself. Okay, I believe we are now ready. All your cards are shuffled. Let's get straight into it and look at the first thing. What is the universe's plan next for you in terms of your path ahead? Knowing that this is, of course, your significator card. So I feel this one to be on a sliding out. So I'm going to take that. You have grief and adversity. You also have, how about this one? This one is sticking out. Let's take that. Mercury in Libra with influence. Then you have Inoki, you've got mushroom. <laughs> Take a look at what the guidebook says about Inoki here. And you have tree, the Lenormand card tree. And let's pull out your tarot cards. So you have the four of wands. Lovely. Celebration, step up. Lovely. You have... The Eight of Cups, lovely, uh, in conjunction to the cards we're seeing. You have the Emperor, again, awesome, in conjunction to the cards we've been seeing. You have the Nine of Swords. And the King of Pentacles. We have room for one more card, so let's do that. you have the justice card. Okay, so justice shows that everything is coming into balance here. First, let's take a look at the Enoki card. What is the Enoki uh, card? There. Mushrooms are deeply connected with each other through a network of tiny threads, yes. As humans, there is so much we can learn from mushrooms and so much that we already imitate. Seek out these connections in life. They will make you feel more infinite. 
in finite, infinite, then anything else could. Oh, so you can see that there is a huge influence on your path ahead with someone appearing in you, into your life. And you can see the trees, the trees, by the way, are the same as mushrooms. There is an interconnectedness um, with their roots between one tree from one end of the forest to another at the far end of another forest. Which says that there is a, a specific adversity in, uh, going on in your life at the moment. Um, some grief that you're going through. Uh, that you're experiencing. And look at the brain card. It says, do not use. I feel like it's not about you really figuring it out because look, you're, uh, the nine of swords shows how stressed you are about this. Maybe you're like, what am I gonna do with this situation? I, I can't believe this is happening to me or I can't believe I'm losing this. You're so sad about something. Maybe some of you are uh, griefing, feeling like you're going to lose someone you love, like a loved one who, who may be ill. Uh, maybe some of you feel like, um, maybe some of you are like feeling like you could be losing something with regards to your health. And in, in that case, whatever case it is, I'm, I'm getting into health because of the snake, which reminds me of um, medicine. So in that case, if this is the case for you, then you are going to find a great doctor, uh, someone stepping into your life and they're helping you with the situation. So do not use in that case makes me feel like uh, it's not about you trying to figure it out. Sometimes it's about connecting with others. You know, it's great to have our lives in our own hands, not to wait for outside circumstances, not to wait for something to come and save us. And it's funny, your reading is <laughs> advising you the other th uh, way around. Sometimes somebody comes and saves the situation. It happens. that, And if it didn't happen that 1%, then you wouldn't have a lot of people thinking about it. It's just like the lottery. Uh, it's not... Uh, healthy for most people to imagine in their lives that they're all going to win the lottery and not do anything about it. But there is this one person who actually wins the lottery. <laughs> so in your path ahead, there is something regarding a strong connection uh, that's going to come through for you. Um, also, the seventh house is the house of connections and deep relationships, profound relationships and intimacy, also romantic connections. So you have someone appearing in your life that will have a profound effect with the emperor that will help you step up from that difficulty and um, stress that you are experiencing at the moment and help you to walk away from it with the Eight of Cups. You will find that things come into balance for you. You don't need to worry about the situation. You are like, I gotta figure this out. And while that's admirable for you, please never stop this ever, this uh, type of character. It's awesome that um, you're not like many people who wait for things to happen for them. Good for you. But this time, <laughs> the universe is telling you, don't, don't worry about it. Um, you, someone is stepping into your life, actually. Bringing a lot of abundance and balance with regards to the situation. I feel like this is someone really thinking about something. Do you see they have their hands on their head and like, what am I going to do about the situation? And feeling so scared about something. Um, I'm not like, you know, if, if I would give you my advice, I would say, please don't stop think about it, thinking about it. I mean, d do something about it. But I should also like take myself out of it. I almost want to come in and jump and save you. Don't listen to that. <laughs> Please do something about it. And part of me wants to say, am I like veering people, of course, veering them astray? And the cards are uh, saying, maybe continue, I will, I will tell you, maybe continue to do what you're doing, right? 
but don't worry about it. I almost want to say like the cards are saying, don't use it. I'm cringing as I'm saying that, but guys, take it how it resonates with you. Your cards are saying, don't worry about it. Really, someone is actually stepping up here, appearing on your journey, who will be an important connection in your life. Who is going to help you step up from this worry? And you can see this person has the hat off. Again, a symbol of don't think too much. Perhaps it's like, don't think too much about it. Uh, please allow me to advise you a little bit if you want. Like, continue. <laughs> I still want to save you. Like, continue to think about, not think, like, continue to, of course, keep yourself safe. But I would say your cards are saying, don't overthink it. Don't worry too much about it. Because someone is stepping up here. They're, it's a, going to be an important connection. It's like nature is there for each other. And so are we. And so here, an important figure is appearing in your life who's got it together somehow, depending on what the situation is. And uh, if this is about money, then they are helping you become abundant. If this is about health, then, of course, with the King of Pentacles material, that's the body. They're going to help you become very healthy. Whatever this adversity is, they're really bringing things into balance. Emperor and the King of Pentacles are stability, bringing a lot of stability and fortune in this area of your life. So that's the key point that you can expect next, my dear pile number one, in your path ahead. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at the key elements you can, we can really see here for you in your path ahead, let's take a look at what to expect next. What's the universe's plan? Plan. See, that's the plan here. Uh, we're doing plan. So what's the universe's plan for you next in terms of your finances? So you have main person. And look, it's a parrot. Maybe it's throat chakra. Hmm. And you have... This one's also sticking out. Let me take that. Wow. <laughs> Moon in Leo with <clears throat> appreciation. You've got the cornucopia here, which is a symbol of abundance and blessings great abundance okay you have crystal ball and you have coffin okay let's take a look at your tarot cards so You have the Five of Swords. The Hanged Man. My God. The Chariot. Oh gosh, you know what I'm noticing here with all of the machinery and in the chariot, I feel like something financial is working out automatically for you. So this, okay, okay, I gotta wait here. Wow, <laughs> you've got the Ace of Cups clearly showing abundance, money flowing into your life easily love love this for you my dear pile number one so good to see you have the ten of wands and of hardships you uh, here in this pile it seems like you were carrying a heavy load worrying perhaps about money or having a lot of responsibilities to pay or working very hard to make ends meet something of that sort and Knight of Wands. 
Oh, looks like this Knight of Wands is exploring an ancient place, like exploring a, a, a place uh, that they have that they want to know more about or something. And you've got music here, which makes me feel like up next for you. I see you making sources of income from different places, actually. So. I'm seeing that one there is one area of your life that will continue due to it. It will continue to give you money automatically. That's like, for example, um, having some form of stocks and it brings you or bonds that brings you consistent money. That's like perhaps you have a property and it's go you've uh, um, you you're putting it out for rent that will bring you uh, automatic money. That's like also putting money in the bank and getting interest. Uh, mm, oh, what are they called in music? I like, um, I can't remember. But like uh, art and music, you know, you let someone use your idea or use your music or some or your art and you keep getting paid for that right so there sorry so you've got something here that will in terms of your money in the future uh, uh, up next that will be uh, stable and will continue to flow money easily into your life here okay so that's one thing i also see up and next is that there is abundance coming through something that you enjoy doing. Maybe it's an artistic nature or maybe something that you enjoy doing on the side that you love doing and that will be bringing you a lot of money that you're not expecting because there's abundance here. So that area of your life in which you will be enjoying doing something will be bringing you a lot of abundance next and there's a next to the crystal ball it seems to me like this is a prediction of what's the universe's plan for you next in fact speaking of which you can see that you have the coffin here which means to me that you may be leaving something over something else you can even see it with the five of swords and the hanged man like a, a switch a switch happening one thing winning over another thing maybe you already do like two things you have a regular uh, job and you do something on the side after your job that you really love and in that case the prediction is one is taking over the other and so i see you flipping uh, and it, through an unexpected move where you're leaving something to the past and now indulging in something that you enjoy doing and it bringing you a lot of abundance so there's another um, how can a source of income going on here for you next other than that's wor what's working here so that is what this is talking about the ten of wands and the knight of wands where you perhaps were working so hard to get your money now you're exploring a new territory where you are making money easily and look this is your significator card it says do not use it so i feel that it's a, first of all a no-brainer this shift in your sources of income and what you're doing first of all second of all i have this intuitive feeling that you won't be working as hard as you used to work given that you're enjoying it and also the effort i feel is going to be very different from before as you're in entering into a new realm that seems very interesting you're enjoying it and also it tickles your interest to 
discover things that you love to learn about. It, it definitely uh, uh, piques your curiosity. You feel like you're getting into an unknown world that puts you in awe and you feel like there's more to unravel as you enter this world. Now, I feel with this main person card, uh, two things. First of all, main person here, that there is a focus on you. So perhaps this is talking about you leaving corporate to do something on your own, depending, your income will be dependent on you. Um, like you going on your own to do your own thing. Uh, I also heard one man show, so this may be relevant for someone listening. And blue, as well as the um, parrot, makes me think that you're going to be doing something related to throat chakra. This could be like, maybe you're going to be a presenter, maybe you're going to be a writer, maybe you're going to be a speaker, a trainer, maybe you are going to be an artist because artist that's the creative form of throat chakra something ha that has to do with expressing yourself mm, yeah writer you could be a writer you could be a presenter actor something like that mm, what else is throat chakra podcast Something of that nature. Okay, so to wrap up, I see you now getting into a new direction that you love, that you enjoy, obviously. And this direction, uh, you will really be paying very well. Um, and it is going to be one of the main directions that blesses you with a lot of fortune and a lot of money. It will be a no, a no brainer for you to move into this new direction because one direction is dying off and a new one is commencing in this pile. Oh, look at that. Maybe some of you are going to be psychics, right? <laughs> so that's on the table as well. Should not miss that. And um, another thing, as I said, uh, something, some other form of income will be working to your favor, bringing you uh, stable income. I, I feel like continuous stable income. Maybe you're going to be selling something that will be able to provide for you. But honestly, I feel with the machine that something is working out for you. Okay, so that's the second thing I see for you next as the universe's plan for you next when it comes to your finances. Now, let, can you see your deck? Yeah. Now let's take a look at the third thing that um, in the reading, and that is improvements. What is the universe's plan for you next on what's improving in your life? So you've got good gentlemen. You have Jupiter in Gemini with Bluff. Hmm, I think I understand. And you have Drain. Yes, I think I understand. You have Whip. The Lenormand card whip. Right, let's take a look at your tarot card. But before we do, this one's sliding out. I feel I want to take it. These two actually are sliding out. Whoa, looks like we're supposed to take from the bottom of the deck, I guess. <laughs> okay, so let's check out your cards. And if we need more, we'll be taking from here. So you have the devil card. Yes, I think I totally understand. You have the Page of Swords. Awesome. Hmm. The Six of Wands. Lovely. The 
the queen of swords love that for you okay you have the queen of cups can't say how much i love <laughs> these cards for you also notice how you have a lot of court cards right and you have the five of wands and look that's the person in the center looks like they're the strongest here so what am i noticing i'm noticing with bluff and drain is that you have been dealing with someone obviously toxic in your life maybe these this is even like a group of people because you have a lot of court cards so take it how it resonates for you but whether um, you've been dealing with a specific person or a group of people it looks like um, these people or this person were liars with bluff were toxic also with the whip they used to hurt you a lot i would say they tried to control you uh, through their toxicity you also have the devil card here that you have been dealing with a person or a group of people who who i will say liberal liberally were awful were horrible to deal with uh, liars toxic manipulative selfish uh they would gaslight you they uh, also scare you horrible horrible and i'm so sorry about that my dear pile number one very sorry about that so use it or lose it i feel you're losing these people and good gentleman shows that what's improving in your life are the quality of people that you have in your life and you will see the dichotomy in terms of honesty in terms of um how they deal with you the love with the with the i did see the queen of cups there we go the love that they present to you the the direct honesty they give you um how can i say this page of swords this is the energy of both innocence and honesty which means that it's not honesty that they put a lot of effort to be it makes me feel like they are naturally honest and despite them being naturally honest like they're on the good side healthy mindset despite that they make sure they put the effort to be honest with you so you have two cards that suggest that you are going to be winning over someone or some people i don't know why you have the six of wands and the five of wands here is winning so because five of swords so this is the five of wands it's not the five of swords my apologies so five of wands signifies a struggle that you have with people obviously maybe you're around five of wands competitive people jealous people manipulative people it's like awful here and so you're winning over them it's not like you're just this person is appearing in your life or these new people the quality of people you're winning over them i don't know what the story is so right now i'm just wondering how are you winning like in order to be able to present you with your message well i think i need clarification here because i need to know the background of your story just a little bit so i can read it better for you so why is pile number one winning over uh these people please six of cups three of pentacles oh it looks like it's a community for a lot of you uh, a community that you have been with ever since a long time yeah a gathering a, a collaboration from a very young age so maybe this is family uh, and so winning over them like uh, you putting your foot down saying no more uh, yeah also the page of swords here could be you putting your foot down saying no more i'm not taking this toxicity 
I'm going to pick my community in a better way. And there are good people, strong, good people appearing in your life. So by the way, these could be like uh, family. Also, three of pentacles is work. So maybe this is work that you've been in for a long time. So, yeah, it's not easy because obviously there's a lot of collaboration between you and this person or these people for a very long time with the six of cups. In all cases, um, I see that th the third house communication, you're standing up for yourself. You're putting strong boundaries. You're winning. You're not allowing this sort of toxic behavior to just pour into your life that easily. And you can see that the universe's plan for you next is a or a group of good, reliable people in your life. Maybe that's this person. Who knows, right? <laughs> Who... It will be there by you strong, allows you to be strong, is not intimidated by your strength, uh, will be friendly, understands the differences between you and them, also will carry you through and through. Uh, not that you need to be carried, but, you know, they're there for you. It's like when you need me, I'm solidly there for you. And, yeah. So the universe's plan for you next in terms of your improvements is clearing out, cleaning out this toxic energy in your life, winning over them, and a new page with a good individual or a good community of people, because we have community there, right? This even might be a community or one person bringing you into a great community, a lovely community that is there for each other. They did say we have a lot to learn from the mushroom, right? So... A, a good community and uh, I think you're going to be looking at this community and going wow do you see how this community is there for each other solid and they grow together as a result um, then the community that I was in so my dear pile number one this is exactly what I see for you in terms of what is the universe's plan for you next in your path, finances, and what's improving in your life. I truly hope you've enjoyed this reading. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Also, please um, join the memberships. You'll find the join button under this video. I also left a link first thing in the description box to make it easier for you to find. It is a great way to support me if you can and wish to do so. Thank you guys so much for all the kind support. L sending you guys so much love. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful green Jasper. Your main significator card is the scarecrow. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Cancer, Taurus, Gemini, and Leo. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, please do not worry about it. They are not the official zodiac signs of the pile. It's another way for other people to pick their piles as well. And so if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then that case, this is your pile. Okay, so let's shuffle the last Oracle, two Oracle decks. And today we're taking a look at what is the universe's plan for you next. We're taking a look at your path ahead uh, in one row. And then in the next, we'll be taking a look at your finances. And finally, in the last row, uh, row we'll be taking a look at what improvements can you expect next? And uh, what is the universe's plan? For you next in terms of the improvements in your life okay so let's get straight into it this will be the main tarot deck that we will be using in your reading today and the um keywords on the signif your significator cards uh are tatermalian decoy a ruse beware bogus friends can't wait to see what this is all about and let's take a look at the first uh, plan next which is your path ahead so you have success in love you have 
Mars in Cancer with Quarrel. Okay, you have Lost Parrot. Huh, gives me a, a, a lot of thoughts, this card. You have Garden, the Lenormand card Garden. Let's now take a look at your tarot cards. So you have, wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Awesome to see this card here. You have the Chariot, again, awesome to see this in conjunction to your cards. You've got Two of Cups, how interesting, okay. You have the Three of Swords, very, very interesting. And I think we have space for one more card, actually, yeah. You have the root of thunder. This the thunder. This is the knight of swords. So I'm seeing something so uh, interesting here, with the wheel of fortune coming as the beginning of your tarot cards. I see your situation is shifting drastically. In terms of your love life. If love life isn't for you, this is your reading too. So in that case, it would be in connections with others in your life. So it seems you're meeting someone new. And you have the, you have the quarrel card here and the lost parrot. And then you've got garden. Also here you've got the two of cups and the... Three, uh, three of Swords. I've, I'm feeling that you have been through some form of awful connection. If this is love, then you used to be with someone who was very head to head and perhaps brought a lot of a lot of heartache to you, made you lose your voice in the connection. Not overall, because all of these are here, but. In the connection, you feel... I'm saying voice because of the parrot, by the way. Made you one after the other and each quarrel lose your voice. And this person hurt you a lot. So now with the garden, I see that you are getting into a connection. So take this as, as either love and only if you're not interested in love, because it clearly says love here then in that case, it's another person in your life, an important connection in your life. I see that you will be meeting a lovely person in your life who you will feel like you can speak to honestly. The connection between you two will be wonderful. Also, both of you seem to have come from a background of hurt. Both of you were hurt from something or the other in the past. Um, in your case, I feel like you've been hurt and also your voice, uh, throat chakra was hurt due to someone. And both of you, as you can see, will not only be very loving towards each other. The Two of Cups is, is the card of love and tarot. Uh, also, it, it, it's romance, is um, mutual give and take. It's a beautiful card. And here, I feel like you two will be healing very healing towards each other. The common ground between the two of you is that both of you had to deal with someone who was pretentious, who was um, using with decoy, using you guys for their own advantage. Maybe for you, it's a partner. For, for them, it's a parent or the other way around. Maybe both of you are partners. Maybe both of you uh, our parents or teachers or friends or community or something. But specifically, someone, what's common here between the two of you as you heal together, because it's going to be a healing connection, is healing from the energy of lying, min, lying, um, using, pretending. It was ugly, to say the least here. 
And so that energy is shifting greatly for you, for you up next in your life. Also, the bear coming out and the snow melting. Both of you seem to have been single for a long time. If this is not love, then both of you were out like hermiting, staying alone to heal for a long time. As you let, uh, as you were allowing the, um, the season, this winter season to go, uh, this tough time that you were going through or time for you to heal. And now both of you are revived, you're awake, you've learned a lot from this experience. You've become very psychic, both of you. You're, you know how to protect yourself very well. And you're out there um, bold now, ready to munch, ready to eat. You're like alive now, ready to hunt, go out, get what you want. And you've learned, both of you, that this connection is going to be so smooth sailing. Because you've learned to to navigate connections in a healthier way. So actually, what both of you have gone through have taught you a lot. And if you hadn't gone through the things you've gone through, you wouldn't have been smooth sailing in this connection as you would now. Both of you uh, along the way learned more about themselves, learned how to speak up for yourself, learned... Um, how to set boundaries, learn not to bring your shadow out to the other person, and so on and so forth. And I'm getting all this from the albatros on the Knight of Swords. You know, the albatros isn't flipping their wings all the time. They know how to navigate through the wind. They know when to let the wind take them and when to start flapping their wings again. And I see that you both have learned, if you had met, have met each other at an earlier stage, not knowing so much about yourself and about connections with others and, and this healing process, the strong healing process that you have gone through, you would not have been such an awesome abode with the garden here, an awesome place, a pleasant place to be in as you would today. Because you've learned to understand uh, how to navigate. Is it you? Is it them? Is it the time to uh, set the boundaries in like a harsh way? Is it the time to set it calmly? Is it time for communication? Is it time for a break? Um, I feel like you've learned to navigate your mind better, your emotions better. And uh, both of you have matured. Both of you are going to be a, a bit of different ages here. Uh, or uh, there's difference between you one way or the other. Because look at that red head. And then this is like brown headed or dark headed. Here you've got the red head again. And I would say gray headed. So there's a clear difference somehow between the two of you. But you play along well or get along sorry get along very well uh, together and that's that time where your connection is going to blossom and be very fortunate for the both of you um i'm seeing the number four perhaps this would happen for you in april maybe okay or june maybe okay so that's the first thing that i see for you guys in terms of what is the universe's plan for you next next in your path ahead. So that's one of the key things you can expect. Let's now take a look at what is the universe's plan for you next in terms of your finances. <laughs> what are the odds? So you have gaining a lot of money. I think you're <laughs> I think you've been answered really well here. So really cool to see that you have ah moon in Aquarius with independence. You might want to check pile number one if you're drawn to it, of course, because they're going independent too. And look at that 11, 11. <laughs> that is destined to happen for you, my dear pile number two. It's a great time. 
it's a time of great great wealth to you. you can see here money is coming to you very uh, easily okay you have lantern so i would say with um how sorry yeah we're gonna take it anyways i would say with this uh what is it called like something that's showing as something when it's not the scarecrow right it's meant to look like a person but it's not and seeing the lantern i'm seeing like you think you're seeing something as scary when really you're gonna realize it is going to your favor you know it says independence here maybe you're gonna leave your job and become independent maybe you're gonna do your own business um, maybe you are going to be at the top of the hierarchy you know independent like be uh, the manager or something but to be honest with you with independence i really feel like you are doing your own thing and perhaps that was so scary for you before you wouldn't uh, uh, dare to do it or something and i see that you will have you will be going on your own and you will see how what you once thought was scary will turn out to be super lucrative for you and you have the lily the flower that keeps on blossoming day after day opening up one after the other you get a bouquet and it is just opening up every single day it doesn't stop <laughs> it's beautiful so that's what i'm feeling here to be honest with the lily also the lily is a symbol of purity the spirituality as well so i feel like this is pure income uh no bogus <laughs> no um no games here the bogus here could have been what you thought about it but really is going to turn out to be uh, a path that keeps on giving to you day after day after day after day so you've got the two of swords i see you making a tough decision here with the two of swords and then you've got the seven of pentacles Queen of Swords. Awesome. The Six of Wands. Love this for you. Oh, ah, I love these type of readings. They are so beautiful to see. <laughs> and you have the Three of Pentacles. Awesome. Something working for you. So what I'm seeing here is that obviously you are going to be independent. You're going to be working on your own and that will be uh, not an easy decision for you to make because it is it seems like it's going to feel like a scary one which will turn out to be fake uh, the scariness is not true what is real however uh, is that it will keep on blossoming for you i see you here with the queen of swords and the seven of pentacles taking it slowly day by day building this independent thing and queen of swords is like disciplined always you always have a studied plan you always know what you're going to wake up doing you always have a game plan you know what you're going to be doing next and you're patient you're working day in day out day in watching it grow right in front of your very eyes and because of your hard work here you can see with the six of wands that it's going to become successful and as a result it will start working out for you and thus the lily work you know uh, something continuous something that will continue to sprout day in day out blossom sorry day in day out for you bringing you more it doesn't stop and as you can see with your keyword it's gaining you a lot of money <laughs> so this is going to be a lucrative path that you are getting into next so that's what i see in terms of what is the universe's plan for you next now let's take a look and that's like destined to happen with 11 11 here it's really really cool so now let's take a look at sorry let's take a look at 
What's the universe's plan for you next? In terms of what improvements can you expect in your life? Wow. You've got a pleasant letter. You can see someone living a look nice, uh, what is it called? Um, affluent life, enjoying their tea <laughs> and getting a message, right? So you have pleasant letter. It has a heart, you know? And you have, oh, Jupiter energy is awesome. Jupiter and Capricorn with control. You have inkwell. So again, the energy of writing, maybe writing a letter, communication perhaps. You have the person. <laughs> Guys, I think here, this is talking about the first part of your reading. One of the improvements in your life is perhaps a loving connection. Whatever this means to you, of course, coming to you through communication. And Jupiter energy is like uh, the energy of ex great expansion, great fortune, great luck. So it's like finding the person, finding the right person. Whether to you this means love, it's like for all of you actually, but for those of you, since this is your reading as well, I, I'm not going to be the one who decides. If love is not your thing, then to you this is finding the person, like a good friend to have in life. And connections are, are equally valuable, you know? So... Uh, seventh house, seven is the seventh house. It's pro some profound relationship in your life. So you are getting great luck in that area. And let's see your tarot cards. So you have the magician. It's going to feel really magical here. You have the queen of cups. The Justice card, very interesting. You've got the Seven of Wands. And finally, you've got the Five of Swords. And I, I, I see people like they're a bit loud, so I'm gonna close the window and be back. Okay, so you can see um, we're getting signs of great communication, communication, communication. A lot of um, pleasant communication going back and forth. Expansion here with Jupiter between you and someone that is going to be very dear. It's going to be, it's going to feel like magic with this person. So I would say improvement in terms of your experience of connecting and communicating with others, because you can see with the Queen of Cups is going to be very loving. Yeah, you know, very romantic back and forth. Uh, you're going to be experiencing a lot of love and expansion of the heart. But you want to be careful. I see with all of the fire, uh, there's a lot of attractiveness, a lot of fire, a lot of emotions, a lot of passion. <laughs> you want to be careful. Because you see here, the justice card. The way you're going to plant things in the beginning will be everything to the future of this connection, as you can see. Uh, are you going to plant it with yin or are you going to plant it with yang meaning in my opinion that you're being guided to have control although this is expan expansive energy yet jupiter in capricorn you want to have a bit of control self-control so uh you're being guided to control maybe like don't overindulge to the point where you forget about your own paths and your own things that you want to take care of. Or maybe um, uh, indulge to the point where you forget about your rights or be super dependent on this connection, by the way. Or 
yeah, being super dependent on this energy. You want to be, to enjoy it, but you also with control want to be um, with a seven of wands, like standing there strong in front of the fire, which means enjoy it, but at the same time, set, um, set strong, I would say, let's, let's and goes, like let it be and let goes with the, fi with this specific five of swords in your connection. Like in, in this time that you spend together, you get to indulge, but when you're not together, then you're working uh, on the important things. Uh, also, what is keep and let go? Like, for example, you don't allow yourself to be uh, all you th all you can think about is this connection. It's like you have time when you think about this connection and time when you don't. Or let go and keep or like enjoy this connection. But at the same time, um, don't uh, ever allow anyone to cross your boundaries. Things like that. Be clear from the get go about what are the things that you will allow yourself to do so that you have the right habits kind of with self-control on what is right as behavior for yourself and for the connection itself and what's not right and not healthy for you and the connection itself moving forward because you would be planting the right seeds for it to move in the right way. Why am I saying keep and let go? Because here you can see in the five of swords, this figure is not competing with this person like trying to win this person over who's to take the peak right um they're letting stuff go like uh, this peak is not so important to me let let the fox have this one i have a bigger goal or i have another direction or so or so so to me this is like what uh what can you indulge in and what you won't uh, allow yourself or the connection to to indulge in or what you won't allow the connection to go in the direction that would harm you because this is going to feel so magical so enjoy enjoy it indulge but you are guided to have control because here it's in your hands when we say what's the universe's plan for you next that's what's that's the energy being given to you how you deal with it however is what will determine the course of where this takes you so that's the universe's plan for you next, but you have uh, how you, um, again, just like this one, how you navigate this energy is in your hands and your guidance is to have control. If you have control, you would, you are navigating it well, no lessons to be learned, you got this. But if you don't, then uh, uh, it, it's going to take you into a place for you to learn the necessary uh, lessons that you would need. And so in that case, you want to be careful because the uh, this significator card is saying that there is a bit of a tricky uh, energy here uh, where this awesome energy can take you to a beautiful place or how this awesome energy, if not managed in the correct healthy way, may take you into a totally different place. So it's a bit tricky. Uh, it's something that you, you know, when you're enjoying something so much, um, it's not the time where you want to think about anything serious. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I just heard in my mind prenup. Oh my God. Maybe, uh, I don't know who's listening to this, but maybe you want to sign a prenup. That came to my mind. So that's just an example. So it's a time where you want to enjoy your connection, but at the same time, be clear with yourself. Uh, stand, like enjoy it and be passionate, but stand there strong. You got the crow here. Your intuition, when it's telling you that's wrong, listen to it. Yeah, you shouldn't uh, do it like that or shouldn't do that, or take care of your future, take care of this, take care of that. Always have an open eye where you are indulging, but also taking care of yourself. What to let in, what to let go, and so on. But other than the guidance here, this is going to be awesome energy for you. 
um, the improvement that you will see in your life is your communication, uh, the, um, uh, the connection back and forth and the love that you experience back and forth between you and someone is just going to be so awesome because with the person, it really seems like this is going to be the person in your life. Like if this is romantic, this is the person you're looking for. And even with the person we're looking for, we want to be mindful. If this is not relationships, then the friend you were looking for, the connection that just gets you and you have fun together, that's the connection you were looking for. And my dear pile number two, this is exactly what I see in your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Uh, also, um, please do consider joining the memberships. Uh, you can click on the join button below this video. I've also left a link first thing in the description box to make it easy for you to find. You become a member of the Soul Family uh, memberships and it is a um, great way to support me if you can and wish to do so. For those of you who have, I want to thank you from my heart. Thank you for the support that you gave you give me to be able to do what I do uh, for you every day from my heart, which is doing uh, tarot readings. Thank you guys so much. Sending you so much love and my dear pile number two, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Hi pile number three, welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful green grass jasper. Your uh, significator card is the fan. <laughs> and if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Capricorn, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Aries. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it. It's just another way to, for other people to pick their piles as well. And they are not the official signs for this pile. So today we're taking a look at what's the universe's plan for you next in terms of your path ahead. And then we'll be creating another row to take a look at your, the universe's plan next in terms of your finances. And then the last row will be specifically looking at the universe's plan for you next on what is improving in your life. These are the decks that we will be using. Uh, on the right are the Oracle decks. The one I'm holding will be the main tarot deck for, the, for this pile. And the keywords on your significator card are enthusiasm, devotion. Is it time to choose a side? Very interesting. Let's get straight into it and first take a look at what's the universe's plan for you next in your path ahead. So you've got grief and adversity. This card is the exact card that popped up in pile number one in the exact same location. So I would say if you want more information about your pile or about your reading or feel drawn to pile number one, I highly recommend it. Then you have Venus and Pisces with submission. You have giant tooth and you have letter it's not like a plan <laughs> okay it looks like a plan here in this letter so that's the Lenormand letter card signifying communication okay so let's take a look at your tarot cards you have <clears throat> Queen of Wands. Wow, this is a really cool tower card because you can see the witch here is really pleased with the tower going down. So something is going down to your favor. You feel like you're winning. Your power is showing with the Queen of Wands. You have the Five of Pentacles. You're seeking refuge somewhere else or something wow you've got the strength card you've got the five of wands 
okay? And finally, you have the end of this row with the Ten of Cups. Isn't this awesome? <laughs> okay. So obviously, I do see that you are uh, going through some grief or adversity. Adversity. You feel kind of stuck, but you can see that the cage is open. The bird can't see it yet, but once it does, it's going to fly off. So it's a matter of time. I feel like it's only a matter of time that you're going to be uh, feeling this sadness or adversity that's going on in your life. Um, because actually a door has already opened for you. Uh, you haven't seen it yet, but it has opened. We'll explore in a moment and take a look at the cards on how this door has opened for you. But it seems like it's coming on a for, form of communication. You have someone with the fan that really believes in you. Let me think. The, the tooth symbolizes crushing something down, right? crushing it down uh, so you have someone who sees you as larger than life look at this big tooth and its proportionality to this per, uh, regular person right so maybe you have someone who uh, puts you on a pedestal respects you a lot. You can even see it with the Queen of Wands. So there is someone who is a huge fan of who you are or the work that you do or a huge fan of your character or something. And This person will be doing two things. First of all, they will be encouraging you. They will hype you up. Let me, let me walk you through this. They, they will show you your capabilities because, because look, the cage is open. You can get out. But I feel like the universe is sending this person for you to see yourself or who you truly are. They see you as giant. So you're going to be meeting someone who, who will believe in you, who thinks you can crush anything. They will be your biggest fan. <laughs> and they were like, they will tell you, talk to you about who they are, who you are and how they admire you. They will be great communication about their love for you, their belief in you, how they think you can crush anything in the world down. And Funny enough, they will empower you. They will be, without knowing, your refuge to yourself. Because you will find yourself. And because of this hype up, pump up, you're the best. I've never seen anyone like you before. I saw you crush this. I saw you crush that. I, I've never seen anyone in my life who does this the way that you do. Oh my God. <laughs> so I feel like you are remembering your strengths and who you are. Sometimes, you know, one forgets their capabilities and life presents them with someone who can see it, who believes in them. And so it looks like you are meeting someone who's a huge fan of who you are, admires your character admires your work, what else is wants your passion, your creativity, your capability of doing what you want, who you are as a person. And because of that communication, they will show you the way out without showing you the way out. They're showing you who you are again. And it does look like you are the one freeing yourself from this pain regaining your power, remembering who you are and happily crushing it <laughs> from this adversity. So they're like your 
loyal companion here going, Dick, you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> and they will be a strong companion with you due to that uh, awesome experience, helping you to go through this challenge and come out of it very happy. So you can see that you will build a beautiful connection with this person because you have the Ten of Cups, which is a happy family card. So you can see you're building a, a, a beautiful bond with this person that will be family to you. Uh, also, there's a lot of love here between the two of you and um, a lot of admiration, you know? <laughs> and this person uh, is going to show you how you stand out from the crowd. I don't know why it's there, but it's there. We'll show you how unique, perhaps this is talking about unique. We'll show you your uniqueness and through that you will maybe understand how to crush this and come out of it like a winner. And along the way, you will be forming a strong bond. Familiar-like, familiar. I wanna say family-like with this person. So it's like a loving reminder of who you are and um, you will be the one to take yourself out of it. You'll be so proud. Okay, so now let's take a look at um, finances. What's the universe's plan for you next in your finances? Wow, <laughs> you've got hope, big water. This is like an inundation, influx of money coming in abundance into your life. I, crazy thought as I look at the fan I feel like another thing that's going to be your number one fan <laughs> in life is your finances they are just pouring in with so much love into your life so nice to see that for you <laughs> my dear pile number three what <laughs> you have the sun in Taurus second house of materialism materialistic things um, you've got acquisition so you're going to acquire a lot of money. Next, it's one of the loyal energies uh, that you can expect in your life. Next, uh, yeah, uh, loyal and uh, inundation of abundance into your life. And you have drain. Now, that's interesting because it's nice to see drain. <laughs> it's an inundation. Oh, maybe it's talking about how the clean water is pushing the unclean water on the other side. Like it's pushing the uncleanliness out. To me, this talks about how you're clearing your debts, uh, clearing out your financial worries, uh, clearing out uh, um, loans, debts, worries, clearing credit cards, uh, clearing... Maybe, maybe this is talking about how you're going to have so much money that you're clearing out the toxic energy. You know, things like uh, having to do things you don't love to get money, uh, pushing out a horrible job that was toxic that you didn't like. Um, yeah, it's like clean water coming in, pushing clear, unclean water out. Cleansing, I would say. And... You have the stars. Wow. <laughs> Look, this is going to be your number one fan uh, as well. Uh, you've got another, consider yourself having another fan in your life. <laughs> and that's the money coming in. So cool to see that, my dear pile number three. I love how the cards show the energy. And I feel like the universe is, has a sense of humor, really. I feel like everything is alive and everything is <laughs> full of love. And yeah, there is a sense of humor going on here. So you've got the world card. Finally, the end of struggle when it comes to, for sure, when it comes to your finances, you're throwing something out, you're ending something you don't like, you're ending your debts, your loans, and you're like, woohoo, I'm... <laughs> so yeah money is coming and here to stay my dear pile uh, number three stars is like 
this is a huge amount. This is a huge, huge, huge amount or a continuation of a huge amount continuously coming in, ending the old chapter of being drained, ah, feeling drained to make money. Look at that. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> like financial fulfillment is what I can say. You're living a cozy, affluent life. You've got everything that you want and more. And it's making you live comfortably. You know, you're relaxed. You're calm. Uh, look at that. The water. You're maybe living by the water. Or it's just like um, a symbol of abundance. Money flowing into your life easily. A cleanse of the money situation for you. But this pile. Oh my God. <laughs> the money here is crazy. And it's making you live a very comfortable, happy, enjoyable life. You've got the page of wands. And you... Okay, wait. Let me turn get the cards first. Another page. <laughs> page of pentacles, obviously. And you have the two of wands. Mm. Okay. And... Guys, I mean... <laughs> both... Parts of the readings are ending with the tens. Unbelievable. I still have that card. I'll get to it in a moment. You've got the ten of pentacles. This is like the um, epitome of uh, abundance and affluence. You're very abundant, but abundant, very affluent. You and your family. Um, you are very well off. I'll, I'll talk about that in a moment. And I think it's here talking about what we're seeing with these energies. Now that you have the money and the affluence and to do what you want, I see you starting to uh, look, um, think big with the two of wands. You're like, right, now that I have this huge amount and I feel like this money is sh shall be always faithful to me, uh, what plans do I have? I see you beginning new chapters in your life. You're still busy, but busy in a direction that you love or rather the directions with a plural s that you love two pages are opening up with the page of wands and the page of pentacles and and uh, this uh, money that's coming in will allow you to work with your money so it's still here uh, uh, reading about money because you're using this money now yes to live comfortably and to live affluently but also I see you using this money maybe to open up charities or open with the page of wands, uh, help it help you open a new direction that you're so passionate about. Also with the page of pentacles, another new direction that you want to build and something that you want to build. So think like charities, think a business that you always wanted to do, think something that you want to do to help humanity or the planet you know the sky's the limit here for you i see you busy but this time you are busy in different many directions working on two or maybe even three different paths and you meet you have a team you meet up and you're like right what did we do with this project great and what are we where are we with this project no we need to talk to someone who can we talk to and with this project where are we gonna go where are we gonna set it up and so on so you're still working, but you've now opened for yourself many different directions in which you can use this money to do things you were always passionate about. So all the best of luck with that, my dear pile number two. Sounds so exciting. <laughs> so that is what I see for you as the universe's plan for you next. Let's now take a look at the third row which is the universe's plan for you next in terms of what is improving in your life. And we know one of them. <laughs> so let's see uh, what you get. You've got meetings. Okay. And it's autumn, a season of change. Okay, meetings. You've got Saturn in Pisces with loss. You have, look at that. F 
flamingos. And you have lily, a spiritual flower. Well, in the Normand, let's check this card. You've got, so we have here, peace, morals, fragility, sexuality, wisdom, old age, grandfather, winter. Okay. I'll, I'll go with peace for now until we see something else. Let's now take a look at your tarot cards. Oh, this one. So you have the justice card. Queen of Cups. Three of Cups. I can push them a bit down. Three of Cups. You have the Five of Cups. Wow. The Sun card. And you have the Queen of Cups. Pentacles. Apologies, had to adjust the camera, also got a little bit chilly. So, I'm seeing here in the meetings card the autumn leaves on the ground signifying a season of change. So we are taking a look at what's improving. You can see that um, you were losing something. And the reason I'm saying losing and not lost is for two reasons. First, the lily, remember when we looked, it said grandfather, older, also I, I remember old age or something. So it's like something, uh, I want to say, like, slowly dying. But with the flamingos, I can see the idea. Oops, not the right one. But with, yes, it is the right one. But with flamingos, I see balance, like steady, steadiness. So, which gives me an idea that, see, old age. So I feel like something was sl slowly um, coming out of your life, something was slowly dying, but it didn't. You can see with the flamingos here, more like becoming still, tranquil, stagnant, stagnant in your life. But that greatly disappointed you, I see, with the five of cups here. But the awesome thing is, surrounding this Five of Cups, what's changing are the adjacent cards. The Three of Cups is a, cup, is a card of celebration. Coming together maybe with someone or some people, perhaps if that's the situation. You can see it even here in the Sun card. A lot of celebration, a lot of happiness, a lot of coming together with people. So you can say, you, you can see, in a specific area of your life in which you can define as something that was slowly being taken from you or slowly dying. It didn't die. It just got stagnant. With meeting, I see you are cool joining with that energy once more. For most of you, that energy is people, like someone in your life, where maybe things were fall, drift, you're drifting apart, things were falling off, that was an important person in your life, or you and some people, it could be energy, like you felt, maybe that's what you're grieving about here. So I don't know what 
that is. But I see that this energy is loyal to you. This is your significator card. <laughs> Again, like everything else, it will always be there in your favor. So remember that life is full of ebbs and flows, is the energy I'm seeing here. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it takes a dip, but then it goes back up and it's great. So that's why you have the justice card here. Um, you can see that things are now coming into balance. They're becoming steady again. And remember, it is the nature of the universe. Sometimes someone, oh, you know, maybe this is like you're losing. Oh, maybe like if you're competing against something, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And you seem to have been the one losing previously. But now... And as always, this energy will always be loyal to you. Yes, sometimes you lose, but you'll always come back winning. And so you're reuniting with that energy again in that season of your life. I'm not sure what that energy is. Like I said, it could be anything. You losing, um, drifting away from a, a dear person in your life or something that was working out in your life, you feel like it's it just wasn't in this last part of your life. And now it's working again. So ebbs and flows. Remember, my dear pilot number three, ebbs and flows will happen. But the one thing that will stay consistent here with you, as the universe shows you, is that this energy will always follow you. It will always be there for you. Sometimes things aren't working out. Sometimes you lose, but you can't lose it. You will always have it in your life. It's like something that is destined to be there in your life. So Queen of Pentacles is a time where you're feeling very fortunate. It's a time where you're feeling very comfortable in that energy, abundant in that energy. <laughs> Things are really balanced now. You're very happy. You're enjoying it, indulging in, in it, especially with the Queen of Cups. Um, yeah, I feel like... This is an experience that brings you joy, fulfillment, uh, happiness. And I feel like this energy, whenever it's high, it brings you a lot of abundance. Whatever this abundance is in this area of your life, that you're able to give others from your cup whenever it's full. So, so sweet. Whenever this your cup is full, I can see you are helping others or like passing on this happiness to others somehow, uh, whatever this energy is. I mean, if it's financial, it's clear what it is. But if it's like, um, let, let's say a loved one, someone dear to you, then with this energy being revived, you spill out that love and happiness to the people around you. You're there by them. You're supporting them. Now that you're feeling good, you have an open ear. You encourage others. Uh, yeah, it's, it, you're very kind with the things that the universe gives you. I, I'm noticing this in your pile. Here, you got money. You're like, okay, let's help this. Let's do that. Some things that you enjoy and some things you want to do for others. Also, you always have a lot of people that you're sharing your happiness and your blessings with. So whatever this issue was, it's the 12th house. It's something difficult that you had to go through to either clear karma, heal, uh, put a closure to something or transcend um, heal something in your subconscious mind, perhaps. Make this connection or this situation better. It wasn't there just because. It was appearing in your reality because you were grasping something and learning something important that you're meant to learn about. Whether it be relationships, whether it be something in your business or uh, career or work life, something that you're working hard towards that you care about, whether this is in your finances, whether this is in your connections. This clearly happened for you to learn and realize something. And that will always be here. It's not going to go away. It will always be your number one fan. <laughs> Again, as everything. Uh, and uh, you are not meant to 
lose it, you're meant to grow through it. And this is a time where you will be re-celebrating it again. Things are coming into balance and it's a positive, very positive time in your life where you're enjoying it. <laughs> Enjoy it, feel the abundance, feel the love. But remember, when it's time for uh, another dip, don't be afraid. Um, seek seek the guidance that the universe is showing you why is this experience coming into your life and remember the most important thing that this energy will always be loyal to you uh, if there is just a like a dip it doesn't mean as it happened the last time that it's going to end you get to keep that in your life and that is the universe's plan next in regards to this area next and forever with regards to this area when it comes to it being loyal to you and my dear pile number three this is exactly what i see in your reading of what's the universe's plan for you next in terms of your path ahead your finances and your improvement in your life i truly hope you've enjoyed this reading i certainly enjoyed doing it for you <laughs> my dear pile number three if you have please give me a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And also, please do consider joining the memberships. You will find a join button right under this video. I've also left a link first thing in the description box to make it easy for you to find. You become a part of the Soul Family memberships. And it's honestly a great way to support me. You get a badge with a white feather that changes color every month throughout your kind support. For those of you who have supported me, I want to thank you from my heart. And I want to I definitely let you know that it does make a huge difference in being able to support me to be able to do what I love to do, which is provide readings nearly every single day for you guys. Thank you so much for your kind support in every way through even a kind wish from your heart. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Sending you so much love and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.